Hey folks, hope you're enjoying yourself. Anthony Samroff from BeYourselfAndLoveIt.com I want to tell you what the greatest power in the universe is. It's the thing that we often fear because we are perpetually, perpe that's not even a word. We are perpetually afraid of finding out that there's something wrong with us or failing or more importantly losing something that we think might make us happy. The greatest power in the universe is being fearlessly authentic or even fearfully authentic but what I say, why I say fearlessly I don't mean that you don't have any fear when you're being authentic but what I mean by that is you say to hell with the consequences. I am going to be honest, I am going to say what is true to myself regardless of whether I lose the opportunity to get something that I think might make me happy in the future. What I really learned from going out of my comfort zone and interacting with tons of people, mostly strangers, was that people think that they will um, be unhappy if they don't get the result that they want in a social interaction. But that's just a big lie that comes from a lack of understanding and a lack of experience. Actually, the truth is, if you what you get down about when an interaction doesn't go the way that you want it to is if you don't feel like you represented yourself well. If you feel like you compromised yourself and you got a shit result, you got a shit reaction, then you're more likely to feel bad. Now you might feel bad even if you did represent yourself, if you have some triggers in play, but it's very unlikely. I have found that when I feel like I represented myself well, I was honest and even skillful in my communication and I didn't get the result I want, it never hurt me. I felt good. I was like, oh well, you know, that didn't win the way I wanted it to, but you know, that's fine. It's when I didn't feel like I represented myself well. And a lot of that time, when you don't represent yourself well, it comes from insecurity and um, uh, people pleasing or saying something because you think it's going to get a desired effect and it doesn't get the desired effect. That's when you feel shit. You did something to get a desired effect and the desired effect did not manifest and then you feel bad about yourself because you didn't represent yourself well. If you do represent yourself well and you don't get the desired effect, it's very unlikely that you feel bad about it. If you do, it's something that you'll process. And with more experience and more hindsight, you look back on that and go, oh, well, what do you know? I wasn't really the one at fault in that situation. It will come to you eventually. Now, if you decide to take this advice to heart and try more and more to be fearlessly authentic and say what's true. Obviously, caveats apply in the sense of you do want to look at the situation in front of you and try and communicate skillfully. I mean, it's not like every time you think something like, oh, I hate you, or you're a insert adjective here, you just say that, because that's not really authentic. That's more like your instant reaction to a situation which might be adverse. Now, if you're around safe people, they might be able to hold that. But there's a talent or skill. I hate to say skill when it comes to social interactions because it always sounds manipulative. But it is. It's true. We've got a wide range of experiences. And the more experience we get, the more skillful we can become at expressing our authenticity. It's like, supposing you were, you had amazing music going through your head, 
but you were really crap at your instrument, whether it's guitar or piano or a violin. You might have great melodies, but they don't come out skillfully. So there is a skillfulness. Now, the fast track to learning that skillfulness is just to be fearlessly a now the fast track to learning that skillfulness is to being be fearlessly authentic. Not fearless in the sense that you don't have fear, but fearless in the sense that you're willing to accept the consequences of your authenticity, even if you don't get what you want in the situation. What you want is to be honest and represent yourself as best you can. By doing that, you'll get so much feedback from the world that you'll learn from the hard knocks of when it doesn't go right and when it does go right. You'll constantly be getting feedback of how not to manipulate situations to get what you want, but how to express your authenticity with more self-confidence and verve behind it. And you'll find that the consequences of your authenticity are more and more often what you desired, or even better still, like um, not what you desired, because what you desire, like people, is just based on what you've experienced in the past. The mind is completely incapable of imagining something that you've not experienced before. So when people have their wants and dreams, they're just based on bullshit that they've picked up in the past uh, because they feel unfulfilled and they think of a time in the past where they felt, I can get an even better girlfriend. Oh, well, I had a good job. I can get even a better job. So all your, all your information on what you want in the future is so fucking limited. What this idea of fearless authenticity has to offer you is getting things that are so fucking amazing that you can't even imagine them because you've never experienced them before. That will happen to you a lot if you take this journey. Now, this is going up on Be Yourself and Love It podcast and it is going up on YouTube. So I would be remiss not to add a pitch at the end because I've learned so much. Of I've told you the fast track method that is just to fucking do it. Just do it as often as possible. And the feedback from the world will improve you. But if you do want to learn this faster, then I definitely suggest that you should get in touch with me for some counseling or coaching because this is where I really, really freaking help you. So you know where to find me. I'm on Facebook, Anthony Samroff. And you can also email me, Anthony at beyourselfandloveit.com. I would love to help you become the person you've always known that you had the potential to be. Uh, but you just haven't done it yet. So get in touch. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, be yourself. But don't just be yourself. Be yourself and love it.